Hello, good morning, everyone. This is going to be a video in English because it's planned to come out on my English channel, Divine Creation and Divine Healing by Patricia Denda. But YouTube has me wait for live streaming there for another 24 hours and the downloads here. So I'm just recording this video, this teaching and streaming it live here on my German channel, knowing that a lot of you, of course, understand English. Knowing who you really are is crucial for your manifesting skills. Before you know why and that you can actually manifest and create, everything you want because you know who you really are and you know that you, that you already manifested your whole life and that what you see up there in the 3D world, in a three-dimensional world that you can experience with your five senses, this is all done by you. So how can you do that? How can you do that? How can you manifest all the things you like and you appreciate? And how can you manifest all the things you don't like? Why would you even do that? Why, why is there stuff in your life that you don't want? It's because of subconscious creation. You're creating mostly subconsciously because you've never learned how to create consciously. To be a conscious, conscious creator, that means you have to know how creation works. And therefore, you have to know who you really are. And almost everybody has heard that we are more than our flesh, our bones and skin and our body. But to come to this really, really inner knowing that it's true, that we are a spiritual being made out of only energy is really hard to comprehend. When I really understood that my thoughts create. I came closer to really understanding what it means to be a spiritual being. Because my thoughts, they're invisible. Nobody sees my thoughts. And I thought for a long time, nobody knows my thoughts, which is so not true. Because the unspoken word creates as much as the spoken words and thoughts are unspoken words. So when I really started understanding that every thought creates because every thought is energy and every thought is an intention and every intention I send out is a manifest. Every intention I send out is manifesting. And an intention is more than a thought. An intention is, is, um, is awareness, is the whole world of thoughts is an intention is what comes out of you in a very strong, focused energy. And a lot of times we don't know our intentions. A lot of times we intend bullshit because we don't know any better. A lot of times we intend to harm ourselves. A lot of times we intend to hide 
a lot of times we intend to feel sad because we think that's what we need to intend. And that's so crucial to understand that we actually, what we do, where we create, where our power is, where the source of, source of creation is, is inside of us. It's not a God or an entity outside of us. It's us. It's the entity, the copied entity of us inside of us that lives inside of us and has our intentions, has our worldview that creates. And therefore, it's really, really crucial to change our world view to change what we think who we are to change what we think everybody else is out there because everybody else is me or you pushed out the little entity i created inside of me showing her or himself to me in a different body but just showing what he or she thinks and feels and sees and realizes. There is nobody out there that has not been created inside of you. Nobody. And that's the good news because you can change your creation every moment, every moment you can change what you believe what you think, and then what you intend. And intentions, it's, it's the strongest energy that creates. And so often we are not aware of what we intend. And we have to intend consciously. We have to decide what we want to intend in the direction we want. I say it again, you have to decide what you want to create the right intentions that pull you in the direction you want to go and makes you the magnet of the realization of what your dreams are. And it's all about energy. And you create the energy in your thoughts, in your way of thinking, in your way of intending. That's how you create your energy. There is no external aura or whatever around you. It's created by you inside of you by how you see the world how you think how you how you value about your values about who you think you are and a lot of times you think you are this little little tiny human being limited and suppressed but the more and more you understand that you are the divine being that is a divine, perfect, unlimited idea, then you can start changing your way of thinking, changing your way of intending. And then you change your energy. And then your energy can match the really nice things everything what you dream of, everything what you want. And it's really, really about this thinking of yourself, of the world, what's outside of you. And this is it. It's just thoughts. It's just thoughts, just thoughts, just thinking. There's nothing big, big, big. There's nothing outside that can affect you. There's nothing. There's no foreign entities. There is no um, attacks. There's nothing outside 
if you don't create it inside. And it needs your discipline, it needs your understanding, it needs your focus to be aware of your divinity and know it and live it and spread it and create out of it and stop being aware of opposition, of pain, of hurt, of attacks. It doesn't exist when you stop creating it in your imagination. Your imagination is God, Neville Goddard. So what would God imagine? Imagine. Would God imagine a devil outside? Would he be afraid? Would the divine mind leave the divine mind? No. And the divine mind is there. And you can calibrate to it. You can be it. You become it more and more and more. But you need to understand. You need to understand what's all about, how it's working, who you really are. You cannot live against your understanding. You have to change your understanding to live according to a divine understanding of a divine world of you as a divine being it's crucial that's crucial and it's practice and you need to teach your mind to think in a divine way to be divine to live and see and think and act divinely and divinely is not from down up it's an overview of perfection and of love. To act divinely doesn't mean to make you small. No, no, no. It makes to make you big, huge, to make you understand that you are all and everything. And this human mind, the human mind has to understand that to lead you to be more and more divine. You have to teach your human mind about your divine inheritance. That's what it's all about. You have to teach yourself because nobody taught you. And if you understand and you do understand because what I say, it's not something I made up. It's, it's just the truth. It's the divine truth of humanity. It's just been hidden. It has just been suppressed because it's so powerful. It's so, so powerful. And you, one person alone, can change the world. And I know you want to change the world. So know you're here. You are here to change the world. So know that you can do it and start doing it now. Go and live your truth. Don't be stopped. Know what 3D world means to you. Get your clues and change. Get your clues and change. And the whole world will change. Thank you so much for listening. I try to come here like every second day. From tomorrow on, on my wellfeelingpunk.com, it's my my channel, it's called Divine Creation and Divine Healing. It's all about the truth about who we are, the truth about creation. It's, um, it's in English. You can still be here, listen to me in German, but it's different. It's, very, it's a very different message. And um, it's the same message, but it's delivered in a different way. Thank you so, so much and uh, talk to you soon.